As the nation celebrates 99 years of women voting, some scholars note the surprising discrepancies in the modern narrative. Here's Chanel Rion. Women and the vote. August marks the 99th year women earned their right to decide the fate of the nation and the future of their families. One American News spoke with Concerned Women for America's Vice President of International Affairs, Dr. Shea Garrison, about the buried history of the Republican Party and the women's fight for the freedom to be heard in Congress. What is interesting to me, Shay, is when we speak about the women's right to vote, we are often not reminded of the fact that this was a Republican cause from day one, back in 1878 when the Republicans first introduced this amendment to Congress. The Democrats had pushed back on this bill year after year until the Republicans finally succeeded in 1919. Walk us through the history and why the Republicans were the champions of the 19th Amendment. Well, this was a hard and long, bitter struggle. Susan B. Anthony is probably the most well-known woman suffragist. And when the 14th Amendment was passed, the 14th Amendment gave citizens equal protection under the law. Well, she decided to put that to the test. And in 1872, she went to vote to see if that was true, and she was arrested. Later, she was found guilty for voting, and um, she was one of the first to push for an amendment to the Constitution. Susan B. Anthony and Alice Paul, both early champions of women's right to vote, were stalwart Republicans and, notes Garrison, abolitionists. Their fight was not so much about women as it was about equality. Alice and Susan were fighting for more than just women's right to vote. They were fighting for equal representation as citizens of the United States. They were fighting for liberty. But this fight was harshly opposed by the Democrat Party, starting from the top. Garrison cites the story of Alice Paul and her reaction to Democrat President Woodrow Wilson's famous speech declaring war on Germany. In this speech, he talked very eloquently about how we needed to fight for justice, for freedom, and that citizens who were subject to a government should also be represented by their government. Well, Alice Paul decided to put that back in his face. She put his own words on a banner picketed the White House with that banner, and she was eventually arrested and imprisoned. The Republican Party first introduced to Congress a women's voting amendment in 1878, but the Democrat-controlled Congress adamantly opposed the bill. Voting it down for the next 41 years, Republicans brought it to the floor. The Republican Party did stand for women's suffrage first. The Republican Party stood for the abolition of slavery first. Republicans are extremely pro-women. The women's movement today has become generally synonymous with causes like equal pay and abortion. But Garrison says this is an intense corruption of the original women's movement. The early feminists were staunchly pro-life. It was Alice Paul who said that abortion is the ultimate exploitation of women. But with the rise of the women's liberation movement in the 1970s, Garrison says such terms as women's empowerment have been hijacked nationally to the detriment of women worldwide. To women around the world who are fighting for the rights to own property, for women around the world who are fighting for the right to not be abused and for the law to be upheld in the case of them being abused, empowerment means such a different thing. Garrison says today, America's modern-day suffragist is the pro-life activist, those fighting for the unborn and the voiceless. This is something we've been fighting for a long time, and we will continue to do it because we are on the right side. Garrison hopes that 100 years from now, Republican women will be celebrating victory over abortion just as they are celebrating the victory of the vote. Chanel Rian, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.